Hi again, I have another video for you. This one's with subtraction using base 10 blocks. I made another video with addition using base 10 blocks. So if you haven't seen that one, I would recommend checking that one out. Uh, but again, this one is how we use the base 10 blocks for subtraction. So again, just a quick review. The base 10 blocks are these manipulatives that uh, most students use in the classroom. These being the ones cubes, these being the tens, and then there are the larger pieces like this, the hundreds place, which are called flats. Um, and I'm going to show you how to use the manipulatives and how you can draw them on your own if you don't have the manipulatives handy. Um, so I have a pretty basic subtraction problem here, 95 minus 13. So I'm just going to set up that top number, 95, and I do that by putting in five ones and then I'll need nine tens to set up 95. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got my first number set up, and then since subtraction means take away, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take away the, I'm gonna start with my smaller place value, the ones place. I'm gonna take away three of these ones, put those off to the side. I'm gonna take away one of these tens, put that off to the side, and then count up what I have left. I have um, two ones and eight tens left. So my answer would be 82. But again, I'm gonna show you how you can solve this problem by just using uh, pencil and paper, and you don't have to have the manipulatives. So I'm gonna set up my problem the same way with nine tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and five ones. And then to show this on paper when you're subtracting, you actually just cross off three of those ones, and then you cross off one of those tens. And then you count up what you have left over. One, two, ten, uh, two ones, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight tens. Now that one did not require any regrouping, but this one does down here. Um, <clears throat> again, I'm going to set up my top number with my base 10 box. The hundreds uses these large flats, and then I need four tens, and then I need two ones. So now we start subtracting. I always start with my smallest place value, the ones place, and then I uh, subtract however many ones I need. However, in this case, I do not have enough of um, enough ones to subtract five of them. So where do I get more ones from? I go next door, I take away one of these, and uh, one of these tens equals 10 of these ones. So I'm going to draw in another 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Be careful with students that want to just make the whole ones place equal 10. So what I mean is since there was already two here, they might say one, two, and then just add eight more to make 10 total. But that's not really what this means. This whole thing stands for 10, so no matter what you already have here, you're putting in 10 more ones here. So now we have 12 ones, and you can actually start to show how to uh, borrow or regroup on paper. So once you've done this step, show here what we just did. We took away one of these, and now we have only three tens left. And instead of just two ones, now we have 12 ones. So now we can subtract five of these ones. One, two, three, four, five. And then count out what's left. I have seven ones left. Okay, now I move to my tens place. I can see that I'm taking away three tens, so I have enough to take them away. One, two, three. And since I already took this one out and gave it to the ones place, I have zero tens left. And then nothing is happening, is being taken away from my hundreds place, so I still have two hundreds. So you end up with two hundred seven. Um, so that's just a, an easy way to see, um, visually see how the numbers are working together and how you're regrouping. Um, and it's a great transition for students who are first learning how to regroup, especially with subtraction, since it can be uh, somewhat of a difficult concept. Uh, thanks so much, and I hope that you like this video. Please subscribe to my other tutoring bay videos.